if the Supreme Court was ruling on a law that said, upon becoming pregnant, you lose your civil rights, I think there would be pretty clear outcry against that. But in fact, each law that establishes fetal rights or the right to deprive women of access to health care or decision making, each one of those in fact says at some point in your pregnancy you have fewer civil rights than other, uh, part, other members of our society. Because there is no point in anybody else's life where we say you can't make a health care decision, you can't choose a medical procedure that will have the best possible outcome for your health. I'll give you other examples. Um, a woman in Utah, I think we've talked about this before, gave birth to twins. One was stillborn. She was arrested on charges of murder on the theory that because the fetus has rights, her decision not to have a C-section two weeks earlier, her exercise of her right to inform medical decision making could be viewed as murder. Uh, if a woman has a stillbirth and the state believes something she did or didn't do caused it, sh sh she can be prosecuted in theory uh, for murder. Even in South Dakota, it's very interesting, the bill there says nothing in this bill will make it a crime for a woman to have an abortion, yet the state has more and more declarations of fetal rights. They are not going to have to prosecute her under that statute. They can they prosecute, prosecute her as a child abuser or a murder statute. Yeah. So that really we're talking about using the concept of the humanization of fetuses as a way of dehumanizing women. And the debate isn't really about a particular form of abortion. Again, it is about do, how do we value women in this country? Do we value them so little that states and the federal government no longer has to take their health into account? This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.